vita. Hello viewers and welcome to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I am your host, Jacques Hingson Compton. Today we're going to be talking about the Global Cooperative and Training Framework or GCTF affiliated event. And with me to talk about this event is the Taiwanese Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen. How are you doing, sir? Thank you. Thank you for having me on the program. That's not a problem. Uh, okay, so let us, let's start off. Uh, Ambassador Jen, to begin with, can you give us a, a brief introduction into the GCTF affiliated um, event? What is it all about? Yes, certainly. Uh, GCTF is a global cooperation and training forum, and it is uh, established by uh, Taiwan government and U.S. government in 2015 as a platform to utilize Taiwan's strengths and expertise to address global issues of uh, mutual concern, uh, which uh, why also enhance Taiwan's uh, multilateral cooperation throughout the region. And over the uh, last seven years, uh, the GCTF has held 49 international workshops on such topics as public health, law enforcement, cooperation, women's empowerment, energy efficiency, e-commerce, cybersecurity, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, and media literacy. And uh, over 4,500 government officials, experts, and civil society representatives from more than 100 countries have participated in these events. And Japan became a full partner to this framework in 2019. And this year, San Lucia will be the first country in the Caribbean to host physical GCTF affiliate events. Uh, as you mentioned St. Lucia, could you talk about the event uh, specifically with regards to St. Lucia? What will be happening here? Uh, this year we were uh, uh, focused on women empowerment uh, program because uh, after the pandemic, we re recognized that women and girls are actually suffered the most because of the uh, pandemic. And also, women and girls are the backbone of the recovery of uh, post-COVID. Uh, post, uh, so. This year's event were emphasis on women economic empowerment and were held in uh, under the theme pushing inclusive and gender equal recovery, empowering women in the post pandemic era. That seeks to raise awareness and broaden support for women in the Latin America and the Caribbean. Yeah, that is interesting. Uh, what what exactly about uh, female empowerment? Could, I don't know if you can speak. A, uh, or detail a little bit more, what exactly about female empowerment would you, uh, would you talking about? Empower, uh, like, for example, in the, uh, in the uh, forum, we will have two panels, and uh, which were, uh, the first panel will explore how women and girls' lives are changing in the face of COVID-19, and outline suggested policy, recommendations, and measures for government officials to establish a women's empowerment in every environment in response to both immediate and long-term recovery. And the second panel will take a look at the achievement of a uh, women empowerment project that implemented by Taiwan, by the US, and the regional organization and uh, to showcase uh, their accomplishment and drive more transformative change on the rights of women. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Uh, thank you for that. Now we have, well, you have brought with you three videos uh, that we're going to introduce onto our program so that our viewers can can get a better sense of what you've accomplished over your time with this with this program uh, these videos cover an introduction of the gctf the achievements of women project uh, interviews of women who have benefited and uh, i think one video will just highlight in essentially our topic of discussion so please stay tuned uh, take a look at these videos and we'll be back with you in a moment
in Taiwan. I graduated today. The experience was splendid, but it was a lot to take in. Well, as you know, success is, doesn't end there. Failure is not fatal, but every step we have to continue doing it. Um, what I learned during that period and the next five years, a lot will come up because I see myself Thank you for staying with us. I hope you enjoyed those videos. As I said before, I am with the Taiwanese ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, and we're talking about the Global, Global Corporative and Training Framework, or GCTF, affiliated event geared at uh, empowering women. Uh, now, Mr. Chen, I want to, there are a couple of things I want to discuss. I know your, your office cooperated with other entities uh, to put on this event. Can you speak about who the other entities were and what that collaboration was like? Well, this uh, GCTF affiliate event, uh, the uh, focus on women economic empowerment, uh, is uh, hosted uh, by my embassy and also U.S. Embassy in Barbados and uh, the government of St. Lucia. And uh, since uh, last year, uh, my embassy and government of St. Lucia uh, team up to uh, promote a uh, youth and women empowerment uh, program and we now already see a lot of uh, outcome uh, a couple of months a couple of weeks ago we have uh, uh, attendees uh, from the vocational training part of the program to attend the mango festival and we also uh, have the first graduation of all the uh, vocational training uh, program and uh, yesterday I just attend the pigeon competition for the uh, incu uh, incubator uh, program. So uh, we see a lot of good outcome and this program is actually a uh, milestone of this, uh, this uh, program. And what, what was that, um, that competition like? Was it something that everyone enjoyed? Was it a, a, good, a great experience? Yeah, I think it's an uh, exciting uh, uh, competition and I think all the competition uh, combined was exciting and nervous so oh. and but and also achievement so i'm really glad i can attend that and i see all the attendees enjoy the competition and i hope they all the best after uh, they graduate from the program now the the gctf event when and where will that be held uh, th uh, this event will be held in uh, at uh, harbor club on 26th of august that is the whole day event so in the morning, uh, I just mentioned we will have two panels. In the afternoon, there's a site a visit and also two breakout sections. Uh, can you, I don't know, describe a little bit more about the event, like who will, who will be in attendance at the event? Uh, we will invite uh, speakers and uh, panelists from uh, Taiwan, from the U.S., and from Belize, Guatemala, Paraguay, and Honduras, and also uh, St. Kitts and St. Vincent. So it's a regional event, and we are really glad that uh, so many countries are willing to participate. And we are also honored to have uh, Prime Minister Honorable Philippe J. Pierre to become uh, one of our uh, speaker, uh, one, one of our uh, person to make uh, remarks in the opening ceremony. And we will also uh, have the honor to have uh, Minister uh, Virginia Albert Poyo mm. to be one of the speaker. And also, uh, Minister Ava Baptiste and Minister Emma uh, Hippoli will also make remarks in this event. So we can expect it will be a very successful and very constructive event. Okay, and uh, how does one join the event? How can one participate? Oh, uh, this event, uh, we will uh, live stream. And whoever wants to join the event can follow uh, our Facebook page, uh, Taiwan in St. Lucia, to register for online webinar and workshop. And the whole event will be live streamed online in our Facebook and in uh, NTN. And so we welcome public to join us. Okay, is there anything else do you want to add before we come to the end of the program? I, uh, this is a, a regional event hosted by my embassy and US embassy and the government of St. Lucia. And 
uh, as I say, is the first uh, physical GCTF event. So uh, we, uh, I hope it will be a very successful event, and I hope all the attendees can learn uh, something from each other, and all the participants can actually come up with a good uh, idea in the future, because it's all about empowering women and recovery from the post-pandemic. Well, I, I want to thank you very much for coming on our program to discuss this very important event, which will be at, uh, at the Harbour Club, August 25th to 27th. Yes. So that's for three days. And uh, I hope you get a, a large attendance, because as I said, it's a very important uh, initiative, very important program. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope uh, everyone will be uh, able to join at that time. Well, and I want to hopefully see you again on the program for any other initiatives or partnerships that our government has with the, with the Taiwanese government. Sure, I would be happy uh, to join. And hopefully uh, my embassy and the government can uh, have more uh, good events that benefit people. I, I hope so as well. You're watching Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I am your host, Jacques Kingston Compton. Please stay tuned to the National Television Network for programs like this and a lot of other programs focusing on the policies and programs of the government of the day. You can catch us on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page for all other information relating to government. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned.